I got Robert here. He's going to be the superintendent on this job. First day on the job, and the first thing we're doing today, right, is getting this building so it doesn't fall down. Correct, correct. And you've got some historic masons coming out that specialize in this stuff. And, yes, and sir. You've done a lot of this work, too. Correct. So. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that real quick and see what we need to do. So you're about to go get the brick. But before you go get the brick, the masons are coming back for you. We're gonna travel to vehicles to bring the brick back to this job. We're gonna be pretty much coming out here, reface this brick right here, repin it, put a heated rod in, and we're gonna brick the whole side right here all the way up. Like just kind of working your way up. Yes. The thing I was asking you earlier. But you see this this floor is all rotten out with termites correct and somehow back in the day they poured like i don't know four inches of concrete or something here when you walk on this it goes down so is there any way they can put this wall back without laying bricks on this concrete or do we got to chip it back or what do we got to do because i can looking from here the forces overlap correct i'm saying this is what i feel i feel like we need to go ahead and brick it all the way up go up to the concrete and still keep the brick on the concrete itself. Yeah. And then when we, when it's time to remove the concrete, we are take a um, quickie saw and we are cut it. Oh, so it falls out. Yeah, so it falls out. Okay. Just a quick progress update on the bricks out here. It's looking pretty good. Morning. How's it going? It's looking really good out here. Long way to go, but good progress so far. Man, really making some progress on the wall. Had to make sure that wasn't poison ivy. What's up, dudes? <laughs> Looks so good. So we're jacking up this brick that was falling in with the jack from my truck. Okay. Is that nice level? Is that why you that? Stay there, Joe. I think you're disturbing the wasp nest. Where is the nest? In the wood. In the wood? Yeah. And things. Straight up trees growing in here. You think it's good? Yeah, a little bit more. Almost. You can't really see on the camera it moving. You can see from here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, something's moving over here. Yeah. Done? Yeah. Perfect. All right. That's awesome. I got Arturo here. What's your company called, Arturo? Uh, 18 Restoration Waterproofing. So he's like a historic mason, and basically he can do everything, according to rehab builders. Uh, him and Eric have been going down to the creek and getting sand to make the mortar, and they have to match the mortar on the brick. So what Arturo and Eric have been doing the last couple weeks is just coming in and fixing things. And, um, Basically, so the building doesn't fall apart. So, thank you so much, Arturo. Thank you, too. Thank yeah, you, I appreciate too. it. Yeah. All right. So, we're in the picking room, which was separated from the main building for uh, fire reasons. That's a sweet wood stove there. I think I've showed this a few times. Right. What you got, Lee? We're demoing out. Oh, no. That's, that's red. That's red paint, right? I hope so. <laughs> What's it say? RCF? What's that written underneath it? It's like fingerprints. This room is creepy as hell. Right? Is this... Yeah, a little 
doesn't feel good. Right? It's it's got bad juju. You can't tell on my camera right now, but this this window is pink. It is scary and pink. There's like weird carpet on the ground and these drop ceilings and I don't know. It just looks like a old ah! dungeon dungeon or something. Lee and I are gonna uncreepify this place by demoing it out, getting all the creepy weird stuff out of it, and uh, I'll check back in in a minute on our progress. What has to be the most satisfying part of cleaning this building out is hosing down the inside. I'm a little jealous of Lee right now. Hey Lee, how, how satisfying is that? This is the only part that I've spent all day at this building doing. We actually got all the walls out of here and the carpet and that weird thing we think is Robert something Friedel. I'm going to look on the deed and see if that's actually him initialing this when he was doing some work in here. But uh, that's pretty cool. I can't make out what that says there, but maybe after we wash it. And that's it. Next step is to rebuild this door. And then we're going to shut these doors and just leave this little historic gem condemned until uh, I can afford to restore it and use it for something fun. Any ideas for what we could do with this building? Give us, uh, give us your input in the comments. I'm really excited to see uh, what you think it's worth. So the picking room is almost done. We gotta put this door back. It's right here. And Arturo is working on that. He's gonna get it flush and functioning, cut out the rot, make it look like it's old, stick it back in this hole that he's parging. And uh, yeah, Lee and I did a pretty good job emptying this place out. Looks gorgeous. You got a nice view of these old spinny wheels that have been here since 1800s. That's really cool, that little broom. I guess at some point they had window cut in here. Maybe we put that window back. That would be super cool. But uh, we got a major issue that's making this room unusable and that's this concrete floor. This concrete floor is poured on top of a wooden tongue and groove floor system sometime inappropriately and unhistorically and it has rotten away and so this whole floor you can't really see in the camera but this I'd say falls about six six inches from the door you can see it's cracking away in multiple places there it's had multiple half <coughs> fixes done to it but uh yeah none of them were really all that great so anyway really excited this thing was a dusty hot mess full of just trash from the last 75 years and now it's an empty room that we really want to use for something